Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. H-E-B 12 colored pencils. I had to get these done, you know. And then the next time, maybe I'll do the Sharpie acrylic markers, are they? Okay, so we have here white, red, vermilion, orange, yellow, grass, green. Green, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm looking at green, light blue, royal blue, purple, brown, black. Wow, Tammy, that <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. Let's go. If you see a moth floating by, <laughs> I have this little moth that I keep seeing. I'm, oh, wow, that does a good job of, of the black there. Of course, you can't see it on, on this. This is like a cream. This isn't like white. Look at the color. The white barrel. These are pre-sharpened and the HEB brand is on there and then white. And the names, the color names are on the barrels. I like these pencils. These go on very smoothly. I think I mentioned in the haul, H-E-B art haul, <laughs> that the the green, grass green, uh, I said, I think I said light green. It felt a little scratchy when I used it. Also, we're going to do this. I didn't do it with the white, but that's okay. It's, you can't see the... Ooh, I felt scratchiness there. Oh, dear. And then a little dark here. There's a little bit of scratchiness on this red. That's terrible. I should put these... I should put these this way. Also, today, tonight, I had no problems whatsoever getting the black out. <laughs> Watch the haul. To see what I mean. No scratchiness. These are these put down pretty good color. Aside from that red having a little bit of scratchiness there, I wonder if I can get rid of the scratchiness by sharpening it. I'm I'm not even sure. Got a lot of room here. <laughs> wow, that is very bright. Awesome. Yellow, I put a, a jobby down. <laughs> the black marker down here. Where am I going to put the dark? It doesn't show up that great on black, but... You can see it. That's a very bright yellow. Grass green. Now, don't get carried away there. Would this be like the equivalent of sap green? I think that has a, maybe a little bit more yellow in it, maybe. This is green, although the barrel looks like dark green or forest green or evergreen now there was no scratchiness on that grass green when I was using it but for here there was no scratchiness and when I used the vermilion just to play around with these pencils when I first got them, 
I didn't have experience any scratchiness on this red. <coughs> This is good old light blue. Sometimes it's called sky blue. What other colors is it called? I'm going to see if I can go darker. Oh, I can. Does that mean I have to <laughs> go back and do all of those? Also, this sheet, this is swatching number 95. And it is the first swatching for the second swatching binder, which means I filled up a binder already with 94 pages of swatching, swatch cards, I guess, not swatching videos. This says it's royal blue, but this is not royal blue that that I know royal blue. This is blue. Or again, I'm gonna do the <laughs> go go a little darker. Ultramarine blue. That's what those pricey companies call this blue. Ultramarine. And purple almost looks violet. I'll have to color darkly and see if I can Yeah, I guess it I guess it is a purple. I kinda see more red than blue in there. Also I'm coloring darkly, darkly, darkly. So maybe what not so darkly there. I don't know. I'm almost done with the video. <laughs> Maybe the moth will come and visit. When I first moved here in 2011, I looked in one of the cabinets, you know, I was getting ready to put the kitchen stuff away in the kitchen. And I opened up one of the cabinets and there was a dead moth and it had, it was like this big, no lie. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen, never have I seen a moth that big, never. And I've never seen it since. Like, I've never seen any outside, you know, flying that big. And I thought, wow, that is... That is a large moth. Poor thing. Then I had pity <laughs> that it was dead. But they did the extermination. The exterminator came in and exterminated the whole place. Yeah. But now I have like the little meal moths. I think they're probably coming from the dry cat food. I don't know. Okay. Let's have a look. I like the purple the best. I like, I like that grass grain too. Which is your favorite color? Write it in the comments below. Thank you in advance. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an artistic day. Bye.